Hi Stampers, this is Amy Ferlici with the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio and today I have this, it's a super cool card for you. Um, there is some stamping and some, actually it's debossing I think I'd say rather than embossing. Uh, so I want to show you how to do this because I just thought this was such a cool little trick or technique, something that I haven't done before. Um, so let me show you. We are using products from the Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog that all the products in here are available until May 31, 2017. Um, now Stampin' Up! will release the retiring list mid-April and at that point some of the items that are in this catalog may show up on that retiring list and then they kind of become while supplies last. So if there's anything here that you see, especially today in this video or anything in this catalog, um, I would just make sure to order it as soon as possible because once those retiring lists come out, um, things tend to sell out pretty quickly. So get what you'd like, don't wait, okay? Um, so anyway, today we are using on page 40 of the Occasions catalog, this is the Happy Celebrations stamp set. And then we are also using, and you're not going to be able to see these, but it's the Celebrations Duo Textured Impressions Embossing Folders. And there are two of them. One says Celebrate and the other says Happy. And you can see they, and these images are all actual size. So the embossing that they do fits perfectly over or kind of inside in either case of the happy and the celebrate. So it gives you a better idea of the actual size. And you can see that too, like this happy is what we stamped on our card right here too. So let me go ahead and show you. Um, I was actually just looking back at the catalog real quick. There is not a bundle, which is interesting. Most times when they have, um, I guess it's maybe more stamp sets and punches and framelits, but anyway, oh, I wanna show you this too because this just caught my eye. Can you all see, this is the Celebrate. Can you see how it's actually debossed? So they, well, they debossed the white piece with the Celebrate and then they stamped over it. And because it's kind of um, debossed, um, not raised up, it's kind of sticking out the backside of the white piece. When you stamp all over it, um, it stamps everywhere except where the Celebrate is. So isn't that cool? You'll understand a little bit more when we do um, the stamping on this card now. So let me go ahead and get started. The first step, I'm gonna scoot that guy out of the way, is to do our stamping. So I am using my basic black ink pad and I'm gonna grab, this is my happy stamp, if you can see that. I am gonna ink that up in my basic black. This is the archival permanent ink. So I'm gonna ink that up and then I'm gonna stamp straight down. Hopefully all that ink comes off. Mmm, okay, let's try it again. That's not gonna matter. I was kind of wondering, I feel like maybe, <laughs> so this is not the archival ink pad, is not the firm foam ink pad, so you can hear me like clomp, clomp, clomping. You would never want to press this hard like on our dapper denim ink pad, the firm foam kind of spongy ink pad. This archival ink pad, they reformulated it and it's back to our kind of our old linen style of ink pad. Um, so you tend to have to re-ink, there we go, um, a little bit more often. Just you can kind of, you know, you hear that it's, it's much harder. Um, so the ink, I don't know, I'm not even sure where it goes, but <laughs> I feel like I have to re-ink these a little bit more often, which is no big deal. Actually, before I close that, I should, because I kind of want to let this sit just for a sec. Um, I'm going to do the birthday to you on this little um, half inch strip of cardstock. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to tell you the sizes of all of these things too. So you have those. Man, I'm not doing well here today. Okay, I brought an extra long piece so I can stamp it again. See how that works. Yeah, I should have re-inked this. I apologize. Ooh, there, that's much better. Okay, that'll work for us. So I'll be able to trim that off um, with my paper snips. I'll go ahead and do that now too. So let's see, we're gonna trim just a tiny bit off of that end and a little bit right there. And then those pieces we can get rid of and I need to keep that somewhere <laughs> where I don't lose it now that it's a teeny tiny piece. Okay, so let me show you the card base. 
always like to show you guys this. So this was my piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. If you can see that. So there's the eight and a half, actually I'll show you, there's the eight and a half there by 11 and I cut it in half at five and a half and then I scored it in half at four and a quarter. Okay, so that's what makes that nice crisp fold is that score line. Okay, then this is a mint macaron piece. This piece measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then my whisper white piece measures, uh, let's see, three and three quarters by five inches. So they're all just graduated in a quarter of an inch. And that's how you get that kind of a border on your card. Okay, so I'm always rearranging pieces, aren't I? What I want to do now, I'm going to move these guys all over here to the side. And I'm going to show you, so these are the two embossing folders that come the celebrations duo texture impression and embossing folders so this is the celebrate so it's just kind of a um kind of a skinny little guy right so we are going to move these out of there. i'm going to grab my big shot so we have that handy and i'm using this is the big shot platform the regular platform that comes with your big shot we're going to use one clear piece down below then this is kind of the tricky part not really tricky but can you see that happy right there we need to get that lined up with our stamp that's why we stamped first and it is not going to matter if it's not lined up perfectly but I think that looks pretty good so we're going to lay that down there and we're going to put our other clear piece over top and crank our handle and let's see what happens <clears throat> can you see this yeah and you know what my first thought is oh it made that little crease but once you start stamping you can actually see I had a couple of creases like one right there and one right there you can't even tell it just kind of adds to the texture a little bit so don't worry about that but can you see there's there are little lines that are raised up and what's going to happen is when we stamp the ink is not going to go inside of the H, it's just going to go on that line that was just kind of embossed there. I thought when I first saw these cards that people were going through with their marker and making those lines in there, but I'll show you. When you stamp, it happens automatically. So there we go. We're going to get our big shot out of the way. And so this is my Dapper Denim ink. Gonna open this guy up and so this is the one that I'm not gonna press quite as hard but who knows I can't remember if I've inked this up recently or not but this is kind of a, a forgiving stamp you can kind of go over it again and again so can you see I'm just gonna kind of and I like to always do that kind of rub yeah so this one um, you can just keep stamping over it again and again until you get kind of the look that you want you got kind of like some water splotches and do you see how the ink is catching on the raised lines over the word happy isn't that cool i had so much fun we made this card at our group gathering um last month and everyone was you know i think it's one of those stamp sets that you see in the catalog and it doesn't really catch your eye and then when you are showed, you know, when it's kind of demonstrated to you how to use it, it kind of became this, wow, isn't that cool? So you do see how I'm just, I'm just going to keep stamping over. And you, like I said, you can get as much or as little kind of splatter as you want. So I think that looks good. Um, so we're going to close that up, scoot that out of the way. And now basically we are just going to put our card together. I've got my snail and my fast fuse for this first layer because it's not that thick. I am just going to use, but I am going to put it around all the edges because I want to make sure that there are no bumps. And then we're going to layer that, right? The white piece, stamped piece on our mint macaron piece. Now, because I've got a couple of layers and it's going to be a little bit heavier, I'm going to use my fast fuse. Make sure you do that flick of the wrist. I have gotten to be kind of a pro. I probably shouldn't even, it's like knock on wood, right? Um, <laughs> I've gotten to be pretty good at it, actually. Um, took me a long time, but that flick of the wrist is key. And I'm going to set this down, and then I'm going to show you my other kind of tip for using the fast fuse, too. 
The other thing is to always make sure that it's sticky. When I'm putting my finger there, it is sticky. If it's not, you wanna just kind of pull it, advance it forward with your index finger. What I was originally doing was on my card stock, if it wasn't sticky, I just kept pushing down and like trying to make it work and I broke it every time. So that's the trick. If it's not sticky, just kind of advance it forward. And then you always wanna be, because it is because it is so sticky, you need to kind of make sure it doesn't get too gummed up because otherwise the tape as it's running gets caught on itself on the top and the bottom there. So you just kind of, um, you want to be cleaning that off. It's, it's maybe a little bit futzier, but I've been using this one for quite a while and I haven't had any problems with it. So those are just kind of some tips and tricks for you. And then let's see my last step. Because I've got that skinny little guy, I'm going to use some of these edges again of my dimensionals because I don't like when you see those are too wide I don't like when you see them um, kind of behind this little strip so I cut those little guys right there I'm going to pull these things off flick them out of the way and then lay that I did yeah nope I didn't <laughs> as I was setting it down I'm like that doesn't feel like it's gonna stick and then I'm gonna put that on right about there fold my card because I've already scored it and there we go isn't that cool so what I love is that this is kind of a masculine looking card we never have enough masculine manly cards so I thought this would be good to send to any guy in your life um, I'm always short short on those so this is a great option for you the stamp set and the embossing folders and lots of cute things that um, I've seen done with that celebrate stamp and that embossing folder as well with these little dots that they've stamped around kind of like I showed you in the catalog earlier so I hope you enjoyed that fun technique make sure you check out my blog at gatheringinspiration.com there will be um, this this will be a post that'll be on the blog and then as well i've got lots of other um, posts on there with other great cards and tips and tricks and ideas and if you would like to purchase any of the products we used today on this card you can shop on my website at amysuzanne.stampinup.net one thing i will tell you when you go to my blog on kind of the right hand side the toolbar over on the right hand side at the very top when you go to gathering inspiration gathering inspiration.com top right corner you will see a host code there so make sure you grab that host code and then when you shop on my stampin up website when you use that host code and your order is over fifty dollars i send you a free um kind of a free fun treat every month it's something different and new and you never know what it's going to be um, make sure that you use that host code and then what i do is i wait until the end of the month so if you shop at the very beginning of the month it might feel like it's going to take a little while to get that freebie from me because i wait and i send them all out while well, i get them ordered actually and then send them all out at once um, about the middle of the next month so just want you to know that but like i said make sure you check out my blog and my website um, and I think that's about it. I hope you were inspired today and I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.